have to solve the following differential equation. It looks like it could be exact, so let's check. So this is m, and this is n. And to check if it's exact, we just compute del m, del, and easy trick, if there's an x here, you put a y here. So del m del y, that should be 4xy, and the derivative of negative 4 is 0. Let's check del n, del x. Again, if there's a y here, you put an x here. Uh, that's 4xy. Yep, so it's exact, so exact. Of course, you should also just look at it and make sure everything is nice and continuous, right? M and N have to be continuous, and their first partial derivatives also have to be continuous. Okay, so we have an exact equation. What does that mean? So, there exists a function f such that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to big M. So, 2xy squared minus 4, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to big N. So 2x squared y plus 3. Yeah, that's what it means for the equation to be exact. There's a function f such that the total derivative or total differential rather of the function is this equation up here. All right, let's finish this. So now we just pick one. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to pick this one and we integrate it with respect to x. So here you end up with Let's see, this is constant, the y squared, so we're going to get x squared over 2. The 2's will cancel, so we'll just get x squared, y squared, minus 4x, plus uh, an arbitrary function of y. So you pick one and integrate, then you take the derivative with respect to the other variable. So del f del y, that'll be 2x squared y plus g prime of y. At the same time, del f del y, we have it here. So this is equal to 2x squared y plus 3. We can solve for little g prime. Little g prime of y is equal to 3. And then we just integrate. So that means that little g of y is 3y. So finally, we have f. So f of xy is going to be x squared y squared minus 4x plus 3y. Is that the answer? No, it is not. The final answer, to get it, you just take this and set it equal to c. So the final answer is x squared y squared minus 4x plus 3y equals c. And that's how you solve an exact equation.